Hey guys, welcome to another week of Most Influential Women. Are we all in one piece? Do we have all of our pieces? Are they at least nearby? Okay, cool. Just checking. Okay, so, um, I have a really, really awesome um, biography that I found and invested off for everybody. Um, so let's go ahead and check it out. All right, cool. All right, today I'm going to be introducing you to Dr. Samira Musa. She was the first female Egyptian nuclear physicist. That is groundbreaking. Check that out. Musa was born in Egypt in Garbia Governorate in 1917. Her mother died from cancer and her father was a famous political activist. She pursued her doctorate in Cairo University becoming the first woman to hold a teaching position. She was a strong proponent of using nuclear technology for peace, such as making medical nuclear treatments available and affordable to everyone. She once said, I'll make nuclear treatment available and as cheap as aspirin. Now to turn her goals into a reality, she organized the Atomic Energy for Peace Conference. She visited the United States under the Fulbright Scholarship Program and was given the opportunity to visit atomic facilities. Musa received a scholarship from the Fulbright Atomic in order to be acquainted with the modern research facilities at California University. And in recognition of her pioneering nuclear research, she was given permission to visit the secret U.S. atomic facilities. Now, what's really, really important here to note is that the visit actually raised vehement debate in the United States academic and scientific circles since she was the first non-white person to be granted that privilege. She turned down several offers that required her to live in the United States and to be granted the American citizenship saying, Egypt, my dear homeland, is waiting for me. Dr. Samira Musa was the first assistant professor at the School of Sciences at Cairo University, and most impressively, the first woman at the university to obtain a university post due to her groundbreaking PhD in atomic radiation from the 1940s. She was inspired by the contribution of earlier Muslim scientists, including her teacher, Dr. Mustafa Mustafa. Samira began writing an article on the work done by Muhammad Musa al Khwarizmi in Founding Algebra. She has also authored multiple articles that communicate the theory behind nuclear energy, its impact and safety of their use in simpler terms. She also discusses the history of the atom and its structure and dangers of nuclear fission technology as well as the properties of radiation and their biological effects. Now, unfortunately, on August 5th, 1952, after her first visit to America, she intended to return home, but she was invited on a trip. And on the way, the car fell from a height of 40 feet, which killed her immediately. And then there's been controversy surrounding her death still. In recognition to her efforts, she was granted many awards. Among them were, in 1953, she was honored by the Egyptian army posthumously. And in 1981, she was awarded the Order of Science and Arts first class by then president Anwar Sadat. A library at the Faculty of Science and a school in her village were named after her the Egyptian TV transmitted a serial title, The Immortal, dramatizing her biography. In 1998, while celebrating the Egyptian Women's Day, it was decided to establish a cultural solace in her birthplace bearing her name. And a book was published covering her life and scientific contributions. All right, guys, this is one 
amazing woman who has definitely, definitely jumped a lot of steep mountains to make her dreams the reality that she wanted them to be. I hope that we all learn something from her. I hope that we all take a step in the right direction of whatever that we have for our goals for this week. Jump for it. Do it. I hope that we all get there and I hope that everybody has a really great week. All right, guys, I will talk to you next time and I will see you later. <laughs> all right, drive safe, especially with all of these gas prices. Ah! And um, stay safe, have fun, all that jazz. All right, cool. See ya. Bye.